Hey everybody, welcome back to another SandTube quick tip video for today. Um, this video is basically just going to answer one question that is how much filament am I actually going to be using with the model that I am printing. The reason this is important is because people have contacted me saying that well how do I know if the remaining uh, remainder of my spool is going to be enough to do the print. Well there's a very simple way to do that. Most slicing software is out there will let you know. So let's go ahead and put in a model and I will explain it to you better. So I loaded this model here and if you notice down here it tells you how much time of course with Kira we don't always believe the time that it gives you but it does give you a spool symbol here and it tells you exactly how much is going to be used. This is very close to being accurate um, so why is this important? Okay so one spool which is 1 kg or 2.2 pounds equals a uh, thousand grams of filament so basically if you have just print finished printing a model and it's taken up 500 grams um, you have 500 remaining so if I was to print this one here which is 582 I'm definitely gonna run out of filament and with most of us uh, long-term uh, prints like this one which is a day and five hours we're just gonna let it sit and forget about it and changing filaments is a little bit harder because you can mess up your z-axis and it throws everything off and then basically like 20 hours worth of print goes to hell so this is one way to check that uh, and I recommend doing this with every print before you do it now if you've printed something let's say if I printed this model I'll just I usually just write it on the side 582 and then if I print the next model and it's around 300 I know I'm good but if it comes up to 5 then I know it's not gonna work but another thing you guys can also do is if you notice this model the way it is it's taking up 582 <clears throat> grams so if you just click on it go ahead and turn it and lay it flat now sometimes what this does is by rearranging your prints um, it actually cuts down on time and the amount of filament that's used because of support and things like that so because I've turned this to the side 90 degrees and laid it flat on the ground or on the plate not the ground uh, this is actually going to take up less time and less filament so this is something I would recommend that you guys all keep an eye out for uh, these are the very simple things uh, that people tend to overlook and ends up costing them time and money because you gotta spend it on new rolls of filament again to redo it so if you notice here we went from 5 to 452 the time went down to 22 hours so not only did I save time I save material and now I don't have to worry about me running out of filament because if I just did a 500 one before this is at 452 it should be just enough so I hope this helps you guys out just a quick tip video I know there's some people that uh, already look at these uh, features when they're printing but most of us tend to forget because they're the smaller things so I'm just pointing it out to you because some people have shown concerns for it so if you want to know if you have enough filament or not, this is one way to do it. Uh, I hope this video helped you guys out. And like always, good luck and happy printing.